I'm going to show you what causes the 6.0 power stroke veins to stick and how to fix that and prevent it from happening. The issue that happens here is, well, there's a couple things that could happen. This area right under the veins can rust and it will expand, expand and then cause these not to move. The other way that it can happen is this bearing housing, if it starts to rust, it could be underneath it, but mostly it's just right here where it rusts and it spans and traps the ring so it can't come off. You'll notice if you take one of these apart, often if you had sicky veins or an issue with the VGT system not working, this piece is so stuck on there that you got to pry, pry it off right here to get it to come off because the rust has it trapped. So the best way to try and prevent that from happening and to fix the issue as quickly as possible and as cheap as possible would be to remove all the rust on the bearing housing. And I I just always go and paint it and do one coat of paint on it. If you start to paint too thick, then it will the clearance will be too tight and it will cause it to lock up that way. So I go kind of minimal with the paint. But you can see how much play it's got there. So it's got room to move. And it should operate just like that. Some other things that can happen is that this piece can wear out and that piece, this arm can wear out. I do have replacement, replacement parts for that if you need it. There's a guy, I know he died, but uh, his name was Diesel Tech Ron. And he would say to always put anti-seize all over this stuff. I never recommend doing that. I've seen some come in where it was so thick on there that it just hardened up and then just still caused it to seize up. So I wouldn't recommend doing that. One thing that's really important is that there's two different models of the veins. The 2003 model had a wider vein here. And this, if you put it in the later model, 04 to 07, it will actually, the whole turbo will go together. But the problem you'll have is that once you put this ring on there with that vein being taller, it just compresses everything together and just locks everything into place. So then none of the veins can move like it's supposed to. So you really need to make sure that you have the correct veins with the correct turbine housing. The best way to tell if you have a late model or early model, is you'll see this bracket right here. All the later models had this, this extrusion right here. And then the earlier models just didn't have that. Some of them were cut off and some of them just weren't even part of the casting at all. The difference in measurement is that the later model, 04 to 07, it was 13.2 millimeters wide. And these, I think, are 15 millimeter for the 2003 veins. It looks like if you do not repair the turbo and you know it has a problem and you just continue to drive it. These pieces right here and here wear out really bad. I've seen at one time, I've seen one that wore out so bad here that the entire travel distance was worn out because it was trying to move this unison ring but because it couldn't, it just kept on trying to move it and it just eventually wore the whole travel distance. The other thing you need to watch out for that is it will also wear this piece out. When these get worn out, they can either be replaced or I can weld up on the side of them and then turn them back down to size. I usually just weld those up with some stainless steel and then machine them back down. So this piece goes right inside here. This actuates the unison ring to move the veins. This whole assembly, the way that comes out is there's a plug right here that can be removed. This gear will sit on the top here and then the lever goes underneath here to connect to the gear. And then there's a pin that holds the two together. That's the pin right there. The way you remove it is you take a small punch and hammer the pin out you have to move it around until you see the dowel pin hole right there. Then you can punch it out. If you keep on hammering on it and you're missing the pin, you can bend these, so you gotta be really careful with that. 
We always remove these pieces because it's a really good idea to clean in behind these pieces, especially in the bearing housing, because it's really common that it burns up a lot of oil back there. I guess the exhaust and the heat just, just cooks the oil in this area and it just causes to kind of have a big sludge mess back there. To repair the unison ring, we usually just replace those, but if you do have the ability to fix this, the way you would do that is you can take measurements and then find out the location of the slot, and you just put it at a different location. You could put it like at any one of these locations, and then you can reuse it. Sometimes this will actually split where it breaks it in half. See this one, it's worn out on that side, so that one can be welded up and recut, or you could just recut a new slot in a different location. Below in the description box, I'll link to all the parts that you may need to do your rebuild. So these, I have a bunch of shafts that are in good used condition, but mostly I sell the new 2003 turbine. But if you use that in the 04 to 07, then that the turbine housing will have to be a machine for the blade height. So... I have some people that asked me about just a stock replacement of the 37 GT37 VAS uh, 66 and 64 turbines. The 64 turbine was on the 2005 to 2007. The 66.6 .6 was on the 04 model to early 05, which uh, what basically that's a 13 blade, and you know the early model 03 was a 10 blade. And then everything after that was a 13 blade, but no five, they changed to a 64 millimeter turbine, so it was smaller. Same with the compressor wheel. They had a 59 millimeter compressor wheel on the 03 to 2000, early 05. Then they changed to a 56 millimeter compressor wheel. I've got a bunch of good unison rings too that are used if people wanted those, but I just usually just sell the new ones. I think that kind of makes more sense. It's not really worth my time to clean up the used ones and sell them when I could just reuse them. I also have the, the veins. So these are the 13.2 millimeter veins. Keep in mind if you need the 15 millimeter veins, I currently don't have those. And uh, I also have the pegs here if you need those. I don't, I don't recommend replacing these unless you absolutely have to. Sometimes people break them off and that's why they need to replace that part.